jumping into Replit, we are taking our prompt here, putting it into the text box, and we're actually going to click this button, Improve Prompt. So it's going to talk to its own LLM, go back and kind of improve what I've said, keep the spirit of it, which we'll read through here in a moment. I won't read this whole original prompt. You guys can pause the video and check it out for yourselves. But let's see what it came up with. Keeping the spirit of what I already kind of put in there, which is great. So we got our core features here. It's good. And visual references. Nice, nice. Love those visual references. And a style guide. Those are good colors. So we can kind of already just give the Replit project a good idea of what we're going for. So we're going to click the start chat button and it's going to get to work creating the app. Now the initial stages here it takes a while. So you're going to have to wait a little bit so you could go get some coffee or take a little break or do what you need to do while it kind of uh, grinds through everything. And then it's going to ask you if you approve the plan of what it's going to build. And we're just going to, you know, in the true spirit of vibe coding, we're going to take exactly what it says. And then you're going to want to iterate with it. Is it going to get everything right on the first shot? No. And that's just fine. That's the whole fun of building with these AI tools is being able to iterate and figure out exactly what you're trying to build and what you're trying to do. So it's, it's a lot of fun working with these tools. So here it is. It's kind of considering its options. It's building out the code. It's starting. You can kind of read what it has here. A retro style 2D shooter game with dual stick controls, XP progression, and classic NES inspired pixel art built with React and HTML5 canvas. Yeah, so this, this should be pretty cool. Let's see what it comes up with. 